everyone, thanks for coming out to check out our video today. My name is Ryan Lofgren. I'm the marketing specialist for Pat Shindley. Pat is a real estate broker here in Billings, Montana, and he is also co-owner of the Keller Williams Yellowstone Properties. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what makes Billings unique and why so many people are being drawn to this city from across the United States. To get started, I'm gonna give you a little history about the city and then we'll talk more about the layout and the amazing things that you can do here in this town. Billings is the largest city in Montana. We've got a population of about 110,000 people and that's as of 2019. We're located in the south central portion of the state and we are the principal city in what's called the Billings metropolitan area. Uh, the Billings metropolitan area is made up of about 180,000 plus people um, and it covers uh, Carbon County, Stillwater County, and Yellowstone County. Um, because of those three counties, it's one of the uh, geographically largest trade areas, um, including cultural, business, and medical areas in the United States. Now, Billings has the nickname of being called the Magic City. This is because it had rapid growth, uh, mainly due to the railroad, which uh, started here in March of 1882. The name Billings comes from Frederick H. Billings. He was a former president of the Northern Pacific Railroad. Um, so e even the town's name comes from the railroad, which played a huge part in not only growing the town, but um, in, in sustaining the town as well. Uh, Billings is the trade and distribution center for um, most of Montana, uh, east of the Continental Divide, um, for Northern Wyoming, for North and South Dakota, um, and it's a retail destination for, for much of the same area. Um, one reason that we become such a, a big retail destination is because we have a 0% sales tax. So what that means is when you go to Wendy's and you buy yourself a 99 cent hamburger, it is 99 cents. Pretty fantastic stuff there. Um, but this the strong economy that comes from being a retail destination has also led to uh, a rapid growth um, and the largest growth really of any city here in Montana. Um, and I think another large part of that is the community and the culture um, that provides us such a, a rich environment to live in. Now, according to Zillow, uh, there was a study done in April that showed that 11% of Americans moved during the pandemic, uh, which has really created a, a big shift and the priorities for quite a few people. Um, we see a lot of people moving here from places like Seattle and California. And the biggest reason for that is the drastically lower cost of living. Um, for example, uh, let's, let's take someone who makes $60,000 uh, from Seattle, Washington um, as a yearly salary. Um, you could come to Billings and survive on a salary of, of just over $30,000 and still maintain the same lifestyle. Um, and a lot of that has to do with the, the cost of homes being much cheaper here. Um, and that as a overall um, is, is that homes are 67% cheaper here in Billings than somewhere like the Seattle market. Um, Overall, it's really about 45% cheaper to live here than it is in a place like Seattle, Washington. Um, another huge advantage is that we have a very, very low uh, unemployment rate, which is currently at 3%, and that's about half of the national average. So that's uh, a great sign that our economy is doing really well. Um, even with that low unemployment rate, there's still plenty of jobs to be had. Um, we have so many opportunities here, and it's really a place that it just makes sense that people are moving here. Now, to, to get started on a little bit of the layout of the town, I want to talk about one of the major 
uh, geological formations that is a center point to Billings, Montana. And that's a place called uh, the Rim Rocks. What we refer to them here locally is the Rims. And it's really, it's, it's a geological Rim Rock sandstone formation. And it, it has outcrops throughout sections uh, of the town. Um, just to give you a little history here, um, 80 million years ago in the Billings Metro area, um, the Billings Metro area was the shore of the Western Interior Seaway, which was basically a sea that went from present day Gulf of Mexico to the Arctic North. And that really helped carve the rims themselves. Um, and they, they are fantastic to see. They are big and they just create a unique viewpoint um, Personally speaking, at night, I love to go up on the rims and just look over the entire city of Billings. Um, it, it's beautiful and uh, very unique. So that being said, we've got the rims right along here. And that's where our airport's located is right on top of the rims there. When you break it out uh, from there, we go into the heights. The Heights is in the northeastern corner of the city of Billings. And if you go out further, you'll reach an area called Shepherd, which is a smaller town uh, um, out northeast of Billings itself. Then we've got what's located right under the rims, which is the north side of Billings. You go down a little bit further, you've got our downtown area and on the other side, or what we call the south side of the railroad tracks, you have the south side of Billings. We've also got quite a few uh, new subdivisions growing uh, into the northwest area. Um, places like Ironwood, which is a very high-end uh, subdivision. And we have got uh, where we're seeing the most growth on the west end. Um, you see a lot of agriculture out this way, um, but as it's changed, even just in the time that I've lived in Billings, we have added so many new um, restaurants and really retail shopping centers, um, just a, a fantastic growth, and uh, it's not slowing down anytime soon. Now, you'll also have um, several other uh, subdivisions like uh, Lockwood and Laurel. And vary within about a 10 to 15 minute drive of Billings itself. One of the big attractions that we have um, here in Billings is the, the downtown area. And the, the reason for that is because there's so much to do and it's all within a, a walking distance of each other. Uh, we have things like the Daler Park Stadium, which is where we have a local Mustangs group play. Uh, they used to be associated with the uh, Cincinnati Reds, but um, you know changed a little bit from the baseball regulations, so that's a little different now, but the ball games are still fantastic to go to. We've got plenty of breweries downtown, um, local breweries that uh, create a lot of fantastic beers. We've got so much art and and culture downtown. Um, one of the things that you'll see is the Yellowstone Art Museum and they're always having new shows. Um, and we, we have a huge music centered population as well. Um, we have a couple venues downtown and they play a big part in bringing music in to uh, our community.
Beyond that, we have still got so much other things to do. We have got walking and bike paths all over the city. Um, we have parks, we've got water parks, we have some fantastic um, playgrounds and, and just walking parks. They also have some golfing uh, courses set up as well. Um, if you like to golf, we have plenty of golf courses in the area. Um, we have got lakes uh, up right, right around here is what we call Lake Elmo. Lake Elmo is located within the city limits and it's up on the northeast side in the Heights area. Um, and it is fantastic to go for uh, a nice swim, especially in the hot days during the summer. Uh, beyond that, we have got rivers running through the town. We've got Yellowstone River right next to uh, the, the city of Billings here. We have got camping all over and many areas within a short drive as well. Um, we live within a close proximity to a lot of outdoor adventures that you can partake in. Um, we've got a lot of skiing available in the area, uh, Big Sky. Skiing is close, Red Lodge is close as well. Um, so there, there's always something to do uh, nearby. Um, if you want to venture out a little bit farther, we have a lot of ghost towns in the area that are really, really cool to check out. Um, but of course, the, the big draws are our national parks. We have got Yellowstone National Park um, nearby. Uh, with, of course, Old Faithful and the Hot Springs. Um, we've got the Beartooth Mountains, which has the Beartooth Pass, and it's always glorious to see. Um, just don't go during the winter because it might not always be uh, open. We've got so many historical sites in the area as well. Um, we've got the Battle of the Little Bighorn, which is down near Hardin. Um, that's where Custer uh, made some really poor choices and uh, paid the consequences for that. We've got Pompey's Pillar. Um, that's a national monument a little ways out of town. Um, that's covered in markings um, and inscriptions that visitors left on their way through, um, like on the Oregon Trail. Um, even people like uh, the famous adventurers, uh, Lewis and Clark, through the Lewis and Clark expedition, um, have left their marks on there as well. We've got uh, pictograph caves. The caves are really fantastic uh, because it was uh, three caves that were home to uh, prehistoric hunters. And so on the inside, you can see the rock paintings. Um, you can see uh, basic history from so, so long ago uh, that we have preserved. And really it's, it's just such an amazing place to go through. Um, so, you know, there's always somewhere to go. There's always something to do. Whether you were looking at art, whether you're listening to music, whether you're taking a walk, enjoying nature, um, I, you know, this video could go on for hours and hours talking about all the amazing and unique places that Billings has to offer. Um, and with that said, we are going to be creating a unique um, introduction to those areas here in Billings. And so we hope that you'll subscribe, maybe hit that like button um, and join us on our next talk where we dive a little bit deeper into some of those unique areas. And I hope that you will fall in love with Billings as much as myself, uh, Pat, and, and our whole team here. Um, as much as we enjoy Billings, we hope that you'll enjoy it just as much as well. Um, so again, thank you for listening. Uh, make sure to subscribe and we'll be talking soon. Stay.